hello welcome back to another studio vlog and i think this could potentially be the last one of the year so thank you so much for watching thanks for being here it's monday lunchtime and it's the 13th of december i say this might be the last one because next week will be the run-up to christmas and i don't know how much work i'll be doing so today is a busy one um i need to record a podcast today I need to do some orders. I've had a couple of orders come in and then I really want to work on a new project. I'm really excited about it. It's something I wanted to do for ages and this video is very, very, very kindly sponsored by Cricut. So thank you so much to the guys at Cricut and they wanted to help me work on this project. So I will chat about it later on in the video when we get into doing it, but I'm gonna make some tote bags today fingers crossed I'm so excited um I have been sent the easy press to heat press and I've never used it before I'm very excited to try it I'm excited to show you hopefully the tote bags look amazing and it's a great success right now I have no clue and I've also got details about a giveaway that I'm doing so stick around till the end um so you can see how you can get your hands on very exciting cricket products so first up i've come in i've made a list of everything that i want to get done today um like i said it's 5 to 12 um so the day has already started i've got a couple of orders to do a podcast episode to record i think i'm going to prioritize those i'm going to do those first tidy up a little bit it, it is tidy in here but just kind of give it a little tidy that's what i'm trying to do on a monday is keep it nice and clean and then yeah we can do do fun things i'm so excited so let me get my microphone which is over here <gasps> um i think today i'm going to chat about a big decision i made um on friday i well i've been thinking about it for a while but on friday i decided to film a video for my patrons a very raw honest video chatting about how i launched my postcard club at the start of this year and the plan was that i would love to have had a hundred people in that tier on patreon i was going to send out postcards and everything um and it's now the end of the year and there's only five people in that tier um and although the tier above it get the postcard it wasn't working out <laughs> um financially it wasn't working out um and i just didn't hit i just didn't do it it was unsuccessful um and i wanted to record a video like i knew i was gonna stop the postcard club after this month <clears throat> um i'd really sat down thought about it and i realized for this to continue long term it had to stop <clears throat> But I really wanted to, it's so hard to explain that in a post, you know, when you're typing it. I wanted to sit down and record a video and that's what I did on Friday. And I literally laid out how much it cost me, like how much I get with the goodie box tier on Patreon. So that's £15 a month, that tier, to get the goodies. But once I did the video and I literally talked through like the fees being taken and postage and everything, I get about 40 pence each box. And that's supposed to pay me for creating the content, packing the boxes. Basically, it, it it's not helping. And that's why I do the box every other month to kind of offset that cost. But the problem was, doing the postcard club, I was sending stuff out in those months in between. And still to send a postcard to America is £3. So I, I kind of, I'd set this this goodie box system up where every other month I was skipping it so that I could kind of keep a little bit of profit and then I set up this postcard club that just diminished it so anyway <laughs> um I made that decision it was a really hard decision a scary decision everyone seems so supportive though and so lovely um but it's such an important lesson that if something's not working it's okay to stop it's okay to say right this hasn't worked so let's stop let's try something new and um i tell people that all the time you need to do that and um i was kind of proud of myself that i did that on friday so anyway i think i'm going to chat about it on the podcast now um i'm going to chat for 20 minutes about that decision um what it means going forward um and how other people can apply <sighs> can can look at their own businesses uh see what's working what's not and then move forward and make decisions scary decisions 
you know um so yeah i'm gonna record that now get that up today and then i will go and do some orders Okay, podcast is recorded. I chatted for 20 minutes um, about what I said before, so hopefully people enjoy that. I'm just gonna save that out and get that exporting. I've had two packages to my PO box, which is really lovely. I actually need to renew it. I've had an invoice here, which I really need to pay, but you know how expensive a PO box is? Um, and I don't really get anything to it now. The only thing I really get to my PO box is when boxes um don't arrive when i send them out they get sent back to my PO box so i kind of want to keep it open for that but a lot of money <laughs> it's from leanne from polka dot pearl i bought from well leanne's a patron of mine an amazing supporter of mine but if you watched vlogmas last year i bought me and luca matching mama and mini jumpers from her Anyway, it says, hope you don't mind. I've sent a couple of bits for Luca. Hope you all have a lovely Christmas and an amazing 2022. Thank you so much, Liam. Let's have a nosy. <laughs> oh, it's a pillowcase. Oh, it's a pillowcase that says, Luca, Luca, close your eyes and sleep tight. Santa is on his way tonight. I can't wait to put that on his bed on Christmas Eve. I feel like I'll put that on his bed now because I don't want him to just have that on Christmas Eve. But that is so lovely. And then in here, <laughs> Luca believes. Thanks a bunch. He'll absolutely love those. So that's the first thing. I will leave Leanne's details below. Anything sort of printed, um, t-shirts, all that stuff. She does everything, but really beautiful and then this it's come from Haley jane studios again another lovely supporter of mine to emily i hope this letter finds you well i've been following your journey for a couple of years now and joined your podcast patreon tier earlier this year just wanted to say a big thank you for all your content you put out there and the support you provide to other small businesses to show my appreciation i've enclosed a little gift for luca and a couple for you in case you already have something similar for luca your gifts for luca is just so lovely so thank you so much um she sent a few stickers which i mean i absolutely love getting stickers from you guys how cute is that snail mail and then we have a couple of cards um i feel like luca could color that in i don't know if you're meant to but um, I'll let Luca colour that in. He's going to be so excited when I pick him up from nursery. Oh my gosh. It's a nice list um, certificate for Luca. Um, and a little card, I'm assuming, from Santa. So I'll keep that. I won't open it. I will pick him up from nursery and let him open that. Thank you so, so much for making that so special. Thank you from the bottom of my heart to Hayley and to Leanne. So special. So the podcast is done. I'm going to schedule that on Patreon to go up tomorrow. Tuesday's on my day off, but it's, it's so nice when you're having a day off and you've already scheduled content to go up on different platforms because you're just enjoying your day off and then you get a notification to say someone's commented on something and you think, oh, well done past me for scheduling content so i'm gonna upload the podcast and schedule it to go live tomorrow midday maybe so next up is orders i have three orders this weekend so let's go and package those So I've got all my orders done, I've done my podcast, 
So I've kind of ticked off a lot of stuff on my to-do list. So now it's time for fun stuff. Like I said before, this video is very kindly sponsored by Cricut. If you watch my last studio vlog, you will see some of the wonderful things they've sent me. And today I am gonna try for the first time ever making my own tote bags. I wanted to sell tote bags a few months ago, it didn't work out. I had them externally made, didn't like the quality, decided not to sell them. I thought wouldn't it be good to give it a try doing them in house? So I have purchased some tote bags online um, and I've gone for these lilac, um tote bags they're like ethically made lilac in color just just everything i wanted in a tote bag and i've also been sent from cricut a cricut easy press 2 and here she is in all her beautiful glory now i've turned her on i've given her a quick try basically when you get uh, an easy press 2 um, it comes with a little tote bag and a little sticker and some instructions to get you started and they encourage you to try out give it a test um, and i did let me find it look at that what i'm gonna do is i have a print i have this print that says magical things can happen and i thought wouldn't it be amazing to be on a tote bag so i need to use my cricut machine that i already have if you don't know i have the cricut uh, explore air 2 um in lilac i absolutely adore it i actually got my cricut machine just over two years ago now. Stickers is the main thing I use it for. So I thought it would be fun to give this a try. I've never cut out vinyl. I've never done anything like that before. So just to give you a rundown, if you've never heard of Cricut before, which I think will be very rare because a lot of my viewers are other small businesses or very creative people. But Cricut sell so many different kinds of machines. You have cutting machines like I have the Explore Air 2. They also sell these heat presses. So I have the Easy Press 2, but they come in different sizes. So this is great for making tote bags, t-shirts, but they also do a smaller one, a really cute small one, um, you know, if you're wanting to make smaller items. So if you combine the two together, which is essentially what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna be able to cut out my design on vinyl and with the heat press I can add that design to a tote bag or a t-shirt or a jumper or anything like that tea towels you can do all sorts of stuff and I'm really excited to do it now I've sat and watched so many tutorials very basic beginner tutorials um, I will leave a few examples below but the Cricut website is also brilliant as well they have a whole help section so if you're stuck it's wonderful also, if you're not sure like the heat settings of things, again, I'll show you in a minute, you can like import what you're using, what fabric, and it tells you exactly what settings to use. I think I'm going to do, when I've got the hang of it, bear in mind, I've never done this before. Um, I'll probably do a full tutorial for you. Um, so let me know if you'd be interested in that. For this video, I am just gonna work away and hopefully have a lovely tote bag at the end of it. I bought 10 blank tote bags because I'm not confident that the first one will go well, but let me show you the vinyl that I'm gonna use. So we have the lilac tote bag, which is just the perfect color for me. And then I wanted to use a white and a pink for the design. So I've gone for this, which is the white iron-on uh, glitter see it's got a little bit of sparkle and then I also have this sort of hot pink um, color as well and I thought the two of those on a lilac tote bag is just gonna be perfection so I'm gonna fire up my Cricut machine I'm gonna get my design the first step is to cut out your design so I have magical things can happen let me show you so this is the text I want I want magical things in white and I want um, things can in the pink so I'm going to cut out the white first um, and then afterwards I will cut out just this what's great about this heat press is you can layer up designs I probably shouldn't jump straight into layering but um, I didn't want it all white because some of the text overlaps so yeah let's go let's make a start hope that it looks good <laughs>
So I have cut out both uh, sets of vinyl and kind of teased them away. That was really hard, really like um, fiddly. The glitter was harder to do than this like normal vinyl. I need to practice and get better. I don't even know if I've done it right. We're, we're about to find out. But the next step is to actually like turn everything on. So this is the heat press. I've got it plugged in over here. And essentially we just turn it on. You have your heat setting and your timer setting. Now, right now it's heating up to 145. I don't know if that's like a default, um, but on the website, on the Cricut website, you can actually figure out what the heat settings need to be. So I have the Easy Press 2 and it says, what's your heat transfer material? And the first one I'm gonna do is glitter iron on because I'm gonna do the white first. And then my base material is 100% cotton. And then this is the mat that you have underneath. So you can use a towel. I have the Easy Press mat. Click apply. It needs to be at 165 and I need to give it light pressure for 30 seconds. Um, and then remove the liner when cool to touch. There's different, this will tell you different things depending on what your, um, what your materials are. So let's go and set it to 165. So it's currently warming up. So let's get it to 165 and 30 seconds is fine. So that's gonna heat up and when it's ready, this will, it'll make a noise, but it'll go, It'll go green and let me know that we're good to go. So another top tip that I saw on the tutorials that I was watching is to take the sort of fabric that you're gonna use and you kind of wanna iron it first. Um, so I'm just gonna lay it over my Easy Press mat and before I do anything with the vinyl, I'm just gonna kind of make it nice and ironed and lovely. I have finished and I am absolutely thrilled with my new tote bag. I did it on the first try. Absolutely thrilled with it. The only thing I really struggled with was the peeling of the vinyl and how I didn't, I don't know why I didn't realize it would be so delicate to do. Maybe it's not, maybe I was just a bit nervous, but practice will make it better. I have to say, I much prefer using like just the normal, vinyl which is the pink rather than the glitter even though the glitter is gorgeous it's more expensive the glitter as well so i feel like if i was to sell these maybe i don't know maybe i'd just use normal white but there is something special about it my new tote bag i absolutely love it let me know what you think let me know if it's something you want to see me add to the shop um, if I did, I would want to design like a, um, a label for it. Um, but yeah, I think what I'm going to do is use this over Christmas, see how the vinyl does. Um, I don't know if you saw, but I added heat to the front and the back and they say to add it to the back to like really seal it. So I'm going to try it over the next couple of weeks. I'll take it everywhere. Um, and in the new year, we'll see how it's holding up. And if the quality is still as beautiful as this, then I might be adding tote bags to the shop next year, which is really, really, really exciting. And it was just so easy to use. So if you have a Cricut machine, you're already halfway there to doing this kind of stuff. You just need to get your hands on an easy press. I'll leave links below to everything. 
um, so you can see. But before I go, I thought I would tell you about a giveaway that I am doing in partnership with Cricut to say a massive thank you for watching this. So I am giving away a Cricut Joy. I'm so excited. So make sure you head over to Instagram where I've just uploaded the competition that you need to enter. Not only do you get a Cricut Joy, you're also going to get a gorgeous carry case, which is so much fun, and all the tools you need to get started on your own cutting journey. We've picked this machine because it's perfect for beginners. You can make some awesome little crafty things with it. Go and check out my Instagram, please enter. It's open to everybody, so yeah, all the terms and conditions, all the details will be over on Instagram. I want to say thank you so much for Cricut for supporting me and for sponsoring this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Thanks for spending the day with me. Like I said, I think this might be the last studio vlog from me until the new year. Um, I'm still working my way through my sales challenge in December. Right now I'm at 41 sales. I don't think it's going to happen <laughs> this month but I've hit 300 in total over the three months so far. So thanks a bunch, I'm so, so thrilled. I'll see you very soon for another video. Have a wonderful Christmas, happy new year, um, and I'll see you very soon. Bye guys.